Ranger Googie, and today I'm going to show you one of my new stoves that I'm going to put in my vest and change it out. But I want to show you how to use a change gear stove. Okay. Alright. Today I have on my vest, I carry this little hand sanitizer stove. And I'm going to show you how I use the hand sanitizer stove. This is why I carry all the time on my vest. It needs to be uh, remade. Then I got a Trangier stove. And I want to show you how you use that. So Glock 17, this is how you use your transition stove today. Now I got a brand new stove. And it's going to replace my alcohol stove. So I'm going to do a test. stove will work best for my vest so let's get to it all right now there's a bunch of ways of carrying alcohol they got these little uh, alcohol things all right there's a all right action all right for the trans deer stove after it gets going you have this little lid that came with your stove and this is to calm down the, the flame you just put this on top but you have to let it heat up right now it's heating up we're gonna make it a gas and you'll see a flame go around both of these in a few seconds so stay tuned and I'll show you what it's, it's been a couple minutes now the flame is really hot got holes all the way around each of these cans and it will start flaming out on both all the holes they have Now this will cook about 15 minutes. I ain't surprised that it'd be that hot. So I recommend to use heat and alcohol mixture because the flame is really high on this machine. So is the other one. The flames are really high and once that heat heats up that gas of the alcohol it start burning really high this is the trans gear and it's starting to kick off too in a few seconds now I'm not I need to mix that up I should have mixed it up with heat and ah there you go I guess the wind was really blowing it really where I don't want it to be at as I see the flame just settle down a little bit and the wind is just blowing it higher. And the transgear is ready to kick off. See this, this is for your transgear. Just to calm down the, the flames a little bit. Just put that over it. Now you can cook longer. Then when you don't want to use the transgear, you can put that one out with ease this one doesn't look like you could put it out anytime soon unless you blow it out really good but once that gas starts to heat up of the alcohol it gets like this see a little windshield will help out a lot see how the alcohol is burning in there is making a gas sit down there at the bottom this one though it's not doing what the other one's doing So I'm thinking about using this one instead of this one. This is my alcohol burner. It was made by uh, Manland. This is also used alcohol too. This is homemade. It was just a tuna can with a bunch of drill holes in it and a can from. Um, what kind of can that is but it was another can with inside a can and this is basically an alcohol burner also I can use hand sanitizer now this one finally calmed down a little bit the fuel 
these can burn about 15 minutes. They say one ounce of, of alcohol can burn that long. Now this one's finally gone. This is what you got, a Trangia. Now you can put it out by just closing your cap and place it on top. Then, after it cools down, put the lid on and it'll seal that oil, that the alcohol it will not spill. But make sure you don't put it on there when it's hot because you'll burn your seals. And just relight it, just go, boop, you're done. The reason why I'm moving it so it won't burn the table. That's another thing. Make sure you got a good table surface for this project. Don't just put it on your wooden table and expect it's not going to burn. It will burn your table. So this, for what I'm just doing is moving it so it won't get so hot. But this is basically a good burn. Put your pot on, cook your water. If the lights go out, this is the way you can do it. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy this short video. And here the, the uh, gas is boiling there. It's almost out. You can also use methanol. One ounce of alcohol or methanol will last 15 minutes. Now this one already went out and burnt all the fuel out because it didn't have much fuel. Cut. All right, Glock 17. I showed you how to use your your Tangier stove. It's simple to use. Just use rubbing alcohol with a little heat. Mix a 50/50. But I use pure alcohol in mine today. I'm gonna start mixing mine if I get the heat and there's two caps this to seal the, the alcohol in there so for later on use and this is to calm down your flame when you need to calm it down just place it on top you have a less of a, a flame and don't forget a, uh, a flame shield will help too but this is a spearmint all right i'm ranger cookie i hope you enjoy this short video of the alcohol and transgender gear stove. See you later, Glock 17. Alright, and the last thing you want to do after you let it cool off, just put your cap on, which is the sealer. So all you do is put your cap on after it cooled down. I don't know if it's cooled uh, enough, but that's all you do is put your cap on. And put the lid on, the little thing. And there you go. And you're ready for the next round. This is good for hurricanes, camping. Oh, emergency cooking food. Uh, you ran out of fuel or your house is no electric. Simple. Rubbing alcohol with a little heat. Mix 50-50 and you have a good flame. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. See you in the next video. I'm Ranger Kuki. I hope you enjoyed this video how to use your transgender stove and hand sanitizer versus alcohol. I'd rather use the hand sanitizer more than the alcohol, but who cares? Everybody's different. I'm Ranger Kuki, and I'll see you next video.